What's up, everybody? This is your boy Boots Green. Once again, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo. So today we got a crazy, crazy, dope family surprise again. You know, I, like I said, I'm all, I always got family and friends out this pup, but right now I got a family member on the line. He's played with a bunch of people. Um, he's an amazing percussionist. He's I've toured the world with him with a few artists and. You know, I just know he's a great dude, man, so I ain't gonna talk a lot, but give a huge round of applause for my bro, Aaron Draper. What up, y'all? What's, what's, what's up with you, bro, skinny? <laughs> you bro skinny <laughs> now, because you done lost some weight, boy. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know. They don't Feeling good, man. Yeah, if y'all don't if y'all if y'all know the old Aaron Drape, he was a nice size, you know, he's a nice little size guy, but now he looks like me. It's like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that small though. So I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's up with you though, man? <clears throat> man, I'm chilling. That's you know, what's up. Home, mm -hmm. the road, you know, tour life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, preparing you leave you're talking about. Say it again. Say it again. I said preparing to leave again, of course. I was about to say, oh, since you're talking about tour life and ready to leave again, we might as well get right into the gizame, bruh. Let's so, do it. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> tell tell the world real quick. We might as well start from the from the end to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But um, tell everybody what you're doing right now. You know, and 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 what's going on, and why you're home right now, and why you're about to leave uh, soon uh, soon again. Well, you know, I'm home right now because uh, I'm on a little break from uh, touring with Adele. I've been touring with Adele for the last. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. I'd be almost like two years, over. Two years. Come on. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a, it's been it's been a long journey. Right, right. So um, I'm getting ready to leave. We're going to do the Grammy. So that's you know it's coming up. It's going to be dope. Right. And um, you know, <laughs> that's where I, that's where I am. That's what's Rock up, and man. Rolling. And and how does that feel to know that you're like? To be real, you know what I'm saying? I remember, see, y'all don't know this stuff, but we were like, back in the day, we used to always be like, yo, man, I, I, I can't wait till we all out touring with them artists that's out for years, like Korn and mm -hmm. Coldplay and, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just the, the real oh. pop artists. Is, yeah, right. So yeah. how does that feel to be a part of that, man? To be a part of somebody legendary and to be touring the, 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 the world, literally? It's, it feels great. It's, it's a blessing. Uh, man, I don't, even, I don't count it. I don't count it, you know, robbery at all. You know, it's, I don't take it for granted. It's, I'm just happy. It's, right. <laughs> it's all of that, you know? Right. I feel you, bro. I totally understand. And I mean, like, do you think, like, like, is this something, is this different for you as far as any other, you know, uh, gig you've been on? Oh, yeah, this is a way different gig from any gig I've done. It's like a high, I'm playing a, I'm playing a hybrid percussion and it's, whew, mm -hmm. it's <laughs> it was a beast. I had to, like, I had to, you know, I had to make this, I had to make my ring up basically. Mm -hmm. It just it's, it's just composed of a, a, a ten inch uh, true track tom, a, a sixteen inch tom, an eighteen inch tom, and a twenty inch gong drum, an electronic pedal, and some pads, and a little couple bells and blocks, mm -hmm. and no cymbals. So basically, you know that's, and that's, that takes Ooh. you away. I'm about to say that's that's that takes you away Ooh. from your percussion lane, like oh my them God. bong yeah. bongs and them kong kongs. Everything. It is not my Rihanna rig, Joe Scott, <laughs> whoever. My Rihanna rig is my best rig, of course. Right, right, right. Hey, but, Ray, um, Ray, but it's hey, it's a dope break though. I uh -huh. mean, you know, because it's different. Nobody is playing it. Nobody. I had to like, I had to make it up. She was like, "Yeah, Coldplay." I was like, "Coldplay? Okay, I gotta make a cold thing. Coldplay guys, because okay, I thought about how they do drums and you know, time. Right, it's like, how make a Coldplay? You got a drummer. He's the drum. Let him do the Coldplay drums. Like, <laughs> but no, thank God. Of I course. Play, I play drums. Nobody, a lot of people, you know, I don't really talk right. about it. Right. They don't know about that. Play, you do play. That's when you started. First. And your hands yeah, were fast as jacks. They yeah. still are. They still are. But them Jones would get around that drum set like, come on, yo. Like, you too big to be getting your hands around that drum set too big. I mean, too fast. Man, busy. Busy and all. Tell them doggone chops. Like, calm down. Yeah, no, hey, no, you but, skilling, you know, though. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Well, you you know, you put me out the game. You were speaking like, uh, you know, I guess. I said, you know, it's too many drums. You know, let me go over to because that's what really was. <laughs> you know. I was like, you know what? Everybody play drums. What can I do that's different? You know what I mean? I kind of could play percussion already. So I was like, you know, let me take my hand and play percussion. Right. And, you know, every now and then, I, you know, that's around the time in 2001 when I was 
Okay, so 2001, that was the, the you know, the Black Lily era when I was playing drums with Jazzy Fan Nasty, the house band for it. Um, for the Black uh, Lily, and sometimes I used to play for Jazzy too when she first started, like before I like really, you know, mm-hmm. got, got on. And That's so, you know. Everyone, you know, right? That's crazy. Alisa yeah. was on here. She, Alisa, she talked about that. Uh, my homegirl, Alisa Joe. You know Alisa. She talked about jazz too. That's that's crazy. See, small world. Yeah. Cats playing for jazz. Yeah. I mean, yeah, jazz was jazz. Probably was like 15, 16 matter of fact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for real. I remember that. Yeah, though. man. That's crazy. But though. you know, I was playing. I was playing drums then. And then you know, I, you know, God, God rest his soul, Richard Nichols. You know, mm-hmm. he he was the one. He gave me. You know, he the one that gave me that shot. And I, you know, I didn't at the time. I really didn't know, but I found out after that he was the roots manager. So I'm like the roots. Man, you know, the roots. Meet them. Right. The roots. <laughs> I know, right? Met Best the love in that pick, boy. Best love in that pick. Man. And which messed around. You know, I used to have an afro in the pick. Not I mean I it wasn't it wasn't because of uh Quest Love, but you know, just I it was I had I was just, that's that what was I had. That was, that was you. Right? That was the pick. You know what I mean? That's make making me become like you know, they call me Baby Quest after that. So, you know, I would <laughs> go around the roots and like Baby go Quest. out before me mirror and be like his little, you know. The guy that will, uh, you know, be the the, the the dummy. What do you, what they call it? Decoy? The decoy. Decoy, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a decoy, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. um, But, you know, we was doing this tour called the um, the Levi's Tour. Okay. And, um, you know, it would be a little conga there, so I would be playing conga, like, just that one conga with Quest, you know, when there's, like, maybe one or two songs. And that's when I was like, all right, maybe I can do something different. And, right. you know, right. after that, that's where we, that's where the percussion, like, really took off. And I was like, all right, let me get into it. Mm-hmm. Here we are, Here 2017. We are. Here we are. And right. I'm playing for I done playing for Rihanna, Adele, Dr. Dre, Snoop, mm-hmm. Eminem, mm-hmm. Rihanna. Come on, God, Jill Scott, Come Eric on. Badu, Come on, The Roots, Tyler Perry. Uh, I mean, uh, Chaka, you know, just everybody, everybody. The Grammys, I did all the Grammys. We did all that, you know. This is. It's been a blessing, man. It's been a blessing, bro. I, I, I about something to say. I did, something, yeah, something, whatever I did was the right choice. I stuck with it. Regardless of whoever said, I, you don't, you know, you don't sound authentic or you don't, you ain't, you ain't, you know, you need to do this. I did it. Right. And, and, and how, and how, you know, I did it how I needed to do it. I made it work. And that's, that's the thing that I think people should know, especially a lot of percussion players, like, of course, percussion players like you know there's some that play with sticks for whatever reason and there's some that play yeah. with their hands like you should but my thing is yeah. either way percussion is percussion whether it be drums is you know what i'm saying anything that you're tapping literally yeah. becomes a percussive thing you know what i'm saying and it's like of course those things now have names and and and, and labels and whatever but right. at the same time it's like when you think about it you got you know times where like now for like you know you playing with Adele you have to change mm-hmm. it up and you have to switch it up where you use a percussion, a, a, a little bit of drums and a little bit yeah. of bells. But overall, it may not be no bongos and kungas in there, but it's, it's percussion. still percussion. Exactly. So it's I mean, like. Orchestra play, orchestra, you know, they play timpanis and they play them big drums like that. You know, bells mm-hmm. and xylophones and, and oh my God, all the sounds you can think of, that's, that's percussion. Right. You know exactly. What I mean? Like, seriously. And at the end of the day, too, another thing is, I always tell people, you know, like, you know, uh, percussion, you know, that, those like Latin percussion and all that, and Afro and African, those drums were like, those are like spiritual drums, you know what right. I mean? Right. And you have that gift, it automatically just comes. Because, yo, that is naturally. Like, come you know on, I mean? like, deep sea diving? You know, that's the, that's the spiritual connection with, with, your, with anybody, any of us that have that, that's, that connection with our drums. It's, 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 it's not coming from us, it's coming from. Right. You know, I'm above. I'm and it's just above, it's, You're it's right. coming through our, the gift that we was given. So now I'm being used to my gift. That's when you get into the gift makes room for you, you know. And, but at the same time, you, people got to have a humble spirit. You got to, you know, it's you better just, preach, you know, Aaron. Be Come on. Be, you know, be able to be to work around you. you know, Come on, like, Aaron. You know, just, you know, it's just, Aaron was in the Bible. You know, Aaron's in the Bible. Come it on, is. Aaron. The royal, you better be your priestess, huh? <laughs> My name means light. Come, Come on. on now, light up, no. light it up. Bo no. Wayne, Mo <laughs> Wayne. Say no. <laughs> Say no. Yeah, Wait. Man, that's, that's, that's what it is. And we had, we had, man, we had some great old heads, man. Our, our old heads was, you know, we had examples. We had Brian Moore, John Roberts, like mm-hmm. the, the Philly, the Philly uh, crew, you know, the Philly, the Philly legends before us. Right. Out right. there doing it, you know what I mean? Who set the bar for a lot. So, you know. Right. We was around that era where, 
we got the we still got the we had the last of it was still around you know what i mean right and, and how, how we, long, we how took, long i'm sorry no no i said then we kind of took off you know what i mean mm -hmm. what would you say hello how long how long you been doing this professionally uh 2001 mm. started man uh, like fresh yeah. 16 like 16 16 games? yeah wow like 17 you, years 16 17 beanies that's crazy yo that's amazing yeah. man i'm always so grateful to know y'all people man like people like you that become my brother and you know through church through gigs through whatever hanging out but it's yeah. like yeah. it's just dope to know that i can look on tv and it's not even about the television but the fact that we are successful to the point where we've gotten you know these calls and you know we we basically we you know remained on those jobs because of our you know humbleness and hard work and you know absolutely you know what i'm saying i think a lot of people don't really understand that that you can get knocked off anytime like your job can you can get fired anytime you know what i'm saying like oh, you can yeah. get sent home absolutely. you can get somebody else and get a call and if you not if you're not playing your part meaning you know doing your thing as mm -hmm. you know percussion player drummer whatever you are and it's like and you don't go outside that box. Sometimes the artist might be like, "Okay, you kind of boring. Well, if you don't know how to play yeah. something else or yeah. something, you know what I mean?" So yeah, like yeah. you ain't trying nothing different to make me feel like you know, oh, I can't, I don't hear your voice. Yeah, like seriously, you know I, mean? I don't some, hear some you. Some musicians are timid. You know what I mean? Some musicians you can like you, you can you can feel them when they play. One mm -hmm. great example, Dwayne Moore. Mm -hmm. Dwayne Moore. plays bass. You feel Dwayne Moore? There you go. He's gonna, he's, yeah, Dwayne know, he knows, he knows. You know what I'm saying? But that's, uh, that's also from what we've been through a lot too, though. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know I'm about saying? to say, how do you, how do you get over that? Like, how do you get over that hump of nervousness or hump of like, you know, what, like holding back or being scared to go outside the box? Hmm. Well, you gotta want to be. First of all, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be uncomfortable. You gotta get out your comfort zone to get there. You gotta want to get out your you comfort zone. <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then once you get past that, that's when that's when you're rolling. Like I, I, I don't know, I don't get nervous no more. Like you know, I did it in the beginning, mm -hmm. but now that you know I'm older, I, it's what I do. And I love to, I love to play music. And no matter, there could be 20 people, to a million. I play for a million people. Right, right. That's, that's <laughs> so, true, bro. You know like, it, don't, yeah. it don't matter. It's the same. The same type. It's like giving you a gift the, the, the same way, no matter what, you know, how many people are there. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? That makes total so, sense, yo. Yeah, like, you know. Gotta be uncomfortable. No, no, get, no one gig is small, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, you know what I'm saying? Right. Totally, yo. Totally my brother. My brother from another mother. So, yo, yeah, <laughs> before we get out of here, though, man, like, tell the world, you know, where they can find you on all these social media joints and, you know, just, just let them know where they can find a Drake. You can find A Drape at A Drape. Ooh, Lord, I just forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Yo, I just forgot. Like the Lord rolls you on your shoulder real quick. Ooh, Lord. Huh? Ooh, Lord. That's my Instagram. I gotta look at my Instagram. Sorry, y'all. I'm doing this live. It's all right. Boy, Listen, this is what we do. This is right live, now. baby. This is the no, real. This is the I'm show. Being, this is the real. This is the this real. Is all real. Come on with somebody. And I really. Oh, A underscore Drape 30 is my Instagram. And my Facebook is Aaron Draper, my name. And you can find me on Twitter, uh, Adrake582. There you go. There you and go. There you go. See, yeah. we're not playing around here, man. So I hope y'all understand that this is what we all are. This is what we are about. You know, work and labor and, you know, love and all that tied up in a one big heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, this mm -hmm. is what we do, man. So check him out. Check out Aaron Draper everywhere. He's out with Adele. Well, he's going to be out with Adele again soon. So check her site out let you know find out where she's at and make sure you holler at him try to link up with him this is what this podcast is about y'all so aaron i love you bro thank you so much love for being over here man you already know thank Anytime. you bro so we thank out you. signing yeah. off 2017 boots and a drape yeah. it's crazy right